Okay, in this lesson, we're going to learn about inequalities. So we will be writing linear inequalities, sketching graphs of linear inequalities, and writing in linear inequalities from graphs. So um, if you see this, an inequality is a mathematical sentence that compares expressions. An inequality contains the following symbols, which I'll explain in a moment. To write an inequality, look for the following phrases to determine what inequality symbol to use. So this is the less than symbol. This is the greater than less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. So the or equal to just has the line underneath. Um, and one way to distinguish the less than from the greater than, the uh, less than sign is pointing to the left. The greater than sign is pointing to the right. You might also see um, is fewer than, is more than, and then for the less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, uh, you'll see is at most, is no more, or is at least is no less than. And you'll get used to this as you work through uh, some of these problems. So for this example, we have write each sentence as an inequality. So first we'll start with A. A number W minus 3.5 is less than or equal to negative 2. So a number W, that's just given W, so I'm just going to write that down for A, W, and then minus, that's pretty obvious, so I'm just going to write minus 3.5. So is less than or equal to? Well, that is going to be our less than or equal to uh, inequality symbol, which is this right here. So it's pointing to the left and it has the line underneath. So this means less than or equal to, and then negative two. And this is our inequality based off of the sentence we had. For part B, we have three is less than a number n plus five. So. I'll write that, 3, and then is less than, so that's just going to be less than, a number n plus 5. That's just going to be n plus 5. And we're done with this one. For part C, we have 0 is greater than or equal to twice a number x plus 1. So we'll start with 0. 0 is greater than, so, or equal to, so greater than or equal to. So it's going to be this symbol right here. It's pointing to the right, and it has the line underneath. To twice a number x. So twice something just means double or times 2. So 2x, and then plus 1. So now we have written our inequalities. OK, so for these examples, we need to tell whether negative 4 is a solution of each inequality. Well, what I like to say here is what do we do to charge our Chromebooks at night? which is to plug them in. So we need to plug in negative four. And if we get a true statement, then negative four is a solution. And if we get a false statement, then negative four is not a solution. So I'm gonna take this negative four here and plug it in for x. So I'm gonna rewrite a as negative four plus eight is less than negative three, okay? Well, negative four plus eight is going to be positive four. Now I want to look at this and say, is this true? 4 is less than negative 3. No, that's not true. 4 is positive, negative 3 is obviously negative. So this is not true. So for A, negative 4 is not a solution. For part B, I'll do the same thing. I have negative 4.5, and then I'm going to plug in this negative 4 for x here. So I'm plugging in with parentheses, so I have negative 4.5 times negative 4 is greater than negative 21. Scroll down a bit. I know that a negative times a negative is going to be a positive, and I know that 4.5 times 4 is going to be 18. So it's going to be positive 18 is greater than negative 21. Well, this is true. Okay, so this, I'll go back to part A. This is false. But this is a true statement. And since this is true, I know that negative 4 is a solution. For, so for part B, we know that negative 4 is a solution. And now we're done. The graph of an inequality shows the solution set of an inequality on a number line. An open circle that looks like this right here is used when a number is not a solution. A closed circle, which is filled in, is used when the number is a solution. 
An arrow to the left or right shows that the graph continues in that direction. So we're going to graph these inequalities. I'm going to zoom in a bit. So we're going to end up drawing number lines for all of these. So here's my number line for part A. Y is less than or equal to negative 3. Okay. So what you want to do is draw your number line. And I think it's a good idea to have three numbers on there at least. So this is my number line. And then I'm going to put this number in the middle, negative 3. I'll put negative 2 here and negative 4 to the left. And I want to graph this inequality now. So what I'm going to do is I, I see that this is a less than or equal to. So since this is an or equal to, I want my circle to be filled in. I want a closed circle. So I'm going to use a different color right here. I'll use red. So I'm going to put my closed circle on this negative 3 because that's where our value is. This means that negative 3 is a solution of this inequality. And then since this is less than, I'm going to go the numbers lower than negative 3. So that's going to be the numbers pointing to the left. So to draw my sketch, I'm going to draw my arrow going to the left. Okay. Now, you might not have colors available to you. If that's the case, now always double check with your teacher, but if that's the case, what I like to do is I like to go like this. Put it above the number line and then draw it like that. Okay. So this would be the case if uh, you don't want it to be read on because it might look messy without it. But either way, uh, this is what you can do. For part B, I'm going to do the same thing. I have 2 is less than x. Well, in this case, I might want to rewrite it for my x term to be the uh, on the left. I, that's how I personally like to do it, but you can do it whatever way you want. 2 is less than x is the same exact thing as x is greater than 2, right? Because any number uh, that, is, that is greater than 2, 2 is less than that number. So now I'm going to do the same thing. I'll draw my number line. And I'll draw my three numbers here. So two's in the middle, and I'll have three and one here. Uh, and now what I want to do is I want to find all the numbers that, at, that x is that are greater than two. So I'm going to draw a circle at two, and I'll do this one above this time. So draw my circle at two, and I'm not going to fill it in because two is not a solution. If two is a solution, we'd see this uh, the line underneath, kind of like in uh, part A. But since this is not a solution, we want an open circle. And then since x is greater than two, or 2 is less than x, we want this arrow going to the right. We want all the numbers that are larger than 2 to be in the solution set. So I'm going to draw my arrow like that. And this is our graph of this inequality. Now we have x is greater than 0. So I'm just going to draw my number line right here. And I'll put my three values. So I'm going to put negative 1, 0, and 1. And once again, I do not have a line under here showing me that I have a greater than or equal to. This is just greater than. So I'm going to put an open circle at 0. And then since x is greater than, we want all the values larger than 0. I'm going to draw my arrow right here. And this would be my graph of this number line. So this, you can do the, your graph either way. I, to be honest, find this way less messy but you might see this way as well, and I'm going to erase that. You might see it like this, and you might see it like this. Either way is fine. So that's how to graph these inequalities. For example four, the graph shows the height restrictions h in inches for two rides at an amusement park. Write an inequality that represents the height restriction of each ride. So we're gonna look at these graphs here. So first I'll do ride A. I see that I have a closed circle, a circle that is filled in. So, and it's pointing to the right. So I'm going to, for right A, I'm going to use H because that's what it tells us to do. And then I know that this is going to be or equal to because it is uh, filled in, the circle is closed. And then my graph's going to the right, which means I want all the values 48 and above. So I'm going to write this as H is greater than or equal to 48. So this is for part A, or ride A. And then for ride B, we can look at it. I see that I have an open circle, a circle that's not filled in, and it's going to the left. So in this case, I'm going to put h is less than 52. Okay. So these are my two inequalities. Once again, this, we have greater than because this graph is going to the right, 
here we have less than because it's going to the left. Uh, this one it has the or equal to in it because the circle is filled in. And this one does not have the or equal to because this is an open circle with uh, nothing filled in. So that's how to do that one.